Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. It is actually the day after Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, a day late. Uh, believe it or not, in Texas right now it's actually 83 degrees, so it feels a lot like summer. But what I wanted to do today is shoot a real quick video with a feature of a bed we recently finished. It's a king size bed. I wanted to kind of show you how I build the bed, uh, how it comes apart and reassembles and, and how sturdy it is. You know, a lot of you who watch the channel sometimes wonder what it is that I actually do. And I, I run a full custom furniture shop. Uh, I've been doing it for five years. We built all kinds of pieces, dining room tables, chairs, beds, some cabinet work, um, you know, just a wide range of work. I've remodeled an Airstream. Um, so I, I've done quite a few things, but I, w I obviously don't make my living making spoons and spatulas. It just makes for good YouTube content. So let's go check out this bed and I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about it. So one of the first things you notice about this bed is the really cool book matched paneled headboard. It's kind of the, what brings the eye to the bed. This is supposed to be more of a modern design, a simple design. It's not a traditional bed. It fits into a real simple kind of modern household. So the idea was to kind of let the wood do the speaking and make this really cool big headboard with really just pretty clean book matched boards. This particular wood is Texas Pecan. It's a, it's a great material that grows locally to Texas, obviously. Um, very similar to, to any pecan or hickory, but just has a really more elaborate figured grain. Just a lot more going on, a lot more colors. So the headboard is a great feature. Another thing that really makes this bed stand out is the, is the joinery placed in the corner of each post. We have a half lap dovetail that goes in to each post, um, it's hand cut. Each dovetail is gonna be slightly different than the next. So we'll cut the, the dovetail first and fit it in uh, to the post, uh, cutting out the, the tail section um, last. I guess you would call this the male part and this the female part. So with beds, there's a couple different hardware options you've got. Obviously they're a piece of furniture that has to be disassembled, which presents challenges uh, because you can't permanently glue it up, it, it kind of structurally can present a challenge. So you want to make sure you're using good hardware to hold it together. Um, this bed, like most beds, comes apart. The footboard separates and the headboard separates and then all the guts down here come out uh, that hold the box spring. I use what's called bed bolts. They're six inches long, three eighths of an inch uh, in diameter big. And they bolt through the back of the post into the bed rail. The disadvantage to bed bolts, and another reason why people don't like to use them, is you can see you have to you have to hide the bolt on the footboard side because you obviously have to drill a hole for it to go in through that post into the bed rail. So I've come up with a, a cool way to hide that, and it kind of adds an accent. And I'll show you guys that a little bit further down the way on the video. Um, but right now, let's let's disassemble this footboard, and you can see kind of how it comes apart and how really how great it works because it is it's a good system and the bed bolts work really well So like I was saying, one of the downsides to using the bed bolts, obviously, is you have to drill a hole in the footboard of your bed, and it's not really a very attractive detail to have a huge hole there. Traditionally, beds had a thin metal, uh, a round metal cover or plate that you would nail over the hole, and it would just pivot up, and you could slide the bolt in and out and hide the hole. Now that particular piece of hardware doesn't really fit this style bed because it's more modern, more sleek looking. So the way I get around it is I build 
I, I make I turn these little round plugs that uh, essentially use the same wood. I'm not trying to match the grain exactly. I like it to be a little accent piece, something that you don't get your eyes drawn to immediately. But you, when you discover and see it, you think, "Well, that's pretty cool looking." You know that little little plug you put in there. Now, how I make this because since it's made out of wood, you run the risk of it shrinking shrinking to the point where the friction fit doesn't work and it just falls out or swelling up to where it becomes very difficult to get out. So I will laminate or glue two pieces of, of, of wood together with the grain in the opposite direction like a piece of plywood. I'll turn it on the lathe to the exact diameter I need to get the friction fit and then I'll go to my sander and I'll sand down each side evenly to about 330 seconds thick or a sixteenth maybe even thick. So you're like, you're, you essentially have two pieces of veneer crushed together in opposite grain direction keeping it from moving a whole lot. So that allows you to keep that friction fit throughout the seasonal humidity so you don't run the risk of it becoming too loose and falling out or becoming too tight and, and you're not able to get it out. And then pop it out, that little groove I put in there, you just take a flat head screwdriver and you know get the right angle and it just works its way right out pretty easily. So here's the opposite side, uh, looking at from the inside where the bed rails would attach the footboard, so you can kind of see the, the joinery. The bolt goes through the middle, you've got two mortises for floating tenons that are on the, the bed rail, which essentially gives it some more structure and strength, but helps line everything up so everything is much easier to put together, because you can start by getting those tenons in and then coming in finally with your bolt and tightening it down. Okay guys, so there it is. Um, I'm going to reassemble this so you can see how it all comes together. I'm going to put a final coat of oil on it. Make it look real pretty because it's going to its new home tomorrow in Canyon Lakes. So it needs to get ready for delivery. I hope you guys have enjoyed checking this out. I don't often get to put my business or real furniture work into YouTube because it's just it's hard to manage the time and hard to make it work. I haven't really figured it out yet, but when I have finished product in here, I thought it would be cool to do kind of an overview of, of how it's of how it's made and how it was designed and how it was built. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate the support you guys have given me. If you're interested in seeing more of what goes on in here, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also check out our Instagram account. Um, so I'm going to put this back together and then I'm calling it a day. Thanks a lot.